and then and you mentioned something too around capabilities and like trade-offs with size and power mm -hmm. when we when i first floated the idea past you uh of coming on the podcast to do a line i was you 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 made a comment to me about hey listen when we really design a camera we're, we're starting with the chipset and then we kind of design the camera around the chipset can you take us through uh you know because these are running all the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're balancing longevity heat compute and i mean and like image sensors don't like heat they don't seem to like that and you are yeah. enclosed you're fully enclosed and so if you can kind of take us through some of the like what the process is of designing a camera when you say and it's specifically around that chipset mm -hmm. i i think different chipsets have and different generations have had different i would say focus where where before it was much about encoding uh and and now maybe it, it's uh, it, it's more about compute uh but you're right i mean heat and heat dissipation is is a very um challenging part in all computing devices i mean look at phones or or, or laptops and so mm -hmm. on i mean today i mean you can run full day and and, and it, it's it's not even warm I mean, but I, I think there has been some tremendous development in in uh, in power efficiency when it comes to to uh, to to silicon and 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 uh, chip and, and and compute so but, but but with that said, of course, if we have a, a, a big aluminum heat sink, as in Q35, we can put some more power through that camera. Mm -hmm. 